Hey everybody, Jen Cravasi, Fish Like a Girl. It's winter time, we're out here at the Jeep, it's finally starting to cool down. Feels a little bit like December finally, got a little mud on the tires. I wanted to take a little bit of time to talk about tackle and organization. It's been 60s, 70s, the last few weeks in December, but it is finally starting to cool off. And it's harder and harder to catch fish, and now is the time of the year where we need to pay particular attention to organization, cleaning up our gear, and uh, you want to see what's in the Jeep? All right. Come on in. So we're looking at ways to keep your things organized throughout the winter and year long. I use this everywhere I go. I am a tournament fisherman. Um, I have a lot of gear. Some of the stuff that I have is not necessary. In fact, it can be ridiculous. But this is how I do it. I'm going to show you things that may help you throughout the year. And um, we're just going to concentrate on the tackle and terminal and storage. And then in the next video, we're going to show you at least how I clean my gear and my reels and get them prepared for the off season because it is happening. It's been in the 60s and the 70s the last few weeks. We've all had a blast here in Maryland, but now it's finally starting to feel like winter. Today it's about 42 degrees and I'm chilling. So let's get started. If you look over here, there's some basics. If you're going to be on the road, I always make sure I have a first aid kit with me. Jumper cables, they're key. You might need them, they could save your life. Some extra bags. On the right, I've got a cooler. It's an older cooler, but this styrofoam does pretty well, at least for the day. I keep plastic bags tight because it is an older cooler, so it does leak a little bit, and I learned the hard way. Also have uh, a case of Hefe Shandy. No, that's not true. Um, I have some of my harder tackle, some things in here. You'll notice. Now, these plastic bags, they're fantastic, and I'll tell you why. You can keep just about anything organized inside them. Everything from fluorocarbon, line, braids. And it's just a whole lot easier to grab a bag. You'll know exactly what you need. Also have glass cleaner. Antifreeze. 50-50 is what most vehicles use, mine does. And if you run out of 50-50 and you're on the road, you can refill it with plain old ordinary water and it will get you through. So to keep you from having a breakdown. flathead and a Phillips. Always keep them with you. And now let's look at what I have in here. These things are inexpensive. I got this for $19 at Walmart. All the stores sell them. Um, it's three drawers. They're pull out. Starting with the bottom. <clears throat> I keep my life vest in here. Coal bungees. Now here's something. You see that I keep everything in bags and that's fantastic. So I think it was Gene Jensen that said that he learned things the hard way but luckily he kept stuff in a box, in a little plastic box, some of his dyes. Well, I was not so fortunate. I did learn the hard way, Gene. And uh, this is some Yum2 scent attractant. And I sat on a soft tackle box when I was on a boat by accident, cracked it in half, leaked all over the boat. After that, I've learned very quickly, if you have it, use it. So now everything that I do, I keep extra bags in here, and they work out pretty well. Thirty SPF. If you're on the water all day, you should use it. Nobody wants to get skin cancer. What else we got in here? Sharpies. Now KVD likes the great big Magnum Sharpies because it's easier, but these things work pretty well too. If you need to color line, or you want to put spots, make your make your uh, rip bait or your crank bait look like a spotted bass, these things are amazing. And they'll stay on for 10-15 casts and you can redo it. 
Bungee cords are good. Or a tape measure. Just in case you want to go offshore. Toothbrush, and no, it's not for me. But it is good for battery posts. So if you get, uh, if you're on the road for a while, you need to clean off the battery terminals, these things work great. Real magic. No, I'm not sponsored by them, but boy, I can't talk enough about it. These things are fantastic. Go buy yourself six of them because you'll go through them. It helps with line memory reduction and it's really great for lubricating your reels during the year. Procure, power bait, and for salmon trips. Also, keep a good utility knife with you. Now we have plastics. We have a lot of plastics. Everything from Z-Man, lots of Havoc. These Kitex are great. These little crazy flappers. Real good action. Some riot baits. And see, the cool thing about this is you can store a lot. I mean a lot of plastics. This isn't even all of what I carry, but when I'm on the road, this is exactly what I need. I can just go grab the pack I want. Let's see. Bag of chips. I kind of thought that was funny. So you get the point. These things are absolutely fantastic. They work really well relatively inexpensive to set up the back of either an SUV. You could probably get away with doing it in a car in the back seat if you're not traveling with a lot of guests all the time. And then in the top, I've got hard baits up top. They weigh a little bit less, so I usually keep those up here. And one thing that I've learned is that these little flambeau dividers work well even in an open plastic area. Everything you can do to keep the rust off your baits is a good idea. So I've got one specifically for jigs. Got a little frog box. Some of my favorites work really well. And you can just grab it and go. The key is organization. Jerk baits, some lipless cranks, lots of crank baits. And the thing about this particular style is I can carry about three boxes deep, two across with smaller terminal tackle on the right hand side, which is how I do it. Um, I love the flambeau stuff. That's probably the best that I've found for rust protectant. Keep weights in one. You can see I've got everything in here from great big for punching down to little finesse bullet weights. And these things, I like these a lot. They come with, you can tie them on to the bottom for a drop shot. Now the tungsten's a lot better, it's a lot more sensitive, but when you're just out fishing around and it's, it doesn't count, it's practice. These things are fantastic. You can lose a lot more of them and not feel bad about yourself and your wallet. And then we've got hooks. Hooks are great. All different kinds. Everything from bait hooks, trailer hooks, weedless hooks, lots of shaky head in here jig heads, small, large, belly weighted hooks. These are great for swim baits. And that's just how I do it. Um, I usually carry seven or eight rods because I'm co-angler on a boat. I don't have a boat yet, so everything's in the back of the truck. Um, but that's coming. So that's pretty much how I do it. Um, hope 
hope you guys have gained some information out of this. I've enjoyed talking to you guys. You're going to see a lot more. The next video that I have out is going to be next week. We're going to talk about how I clean reels, bait casters, and spinning. Um, have a great day. It's Jen Cravasi, and I fish like a girl. I know, it doesn't stop itself, does it?